welcome back to G Mama's World. Well, guys, today I'm coming to you with Pizza Patron. Y'all see that? Pizza Patron. Okay. This is a place over here by where I live. I'm sure they everywhere, but I never had them. So, and these are the wings. Barbecue wings. Let me do it like this here. Okay, there you go. Those are the wings. Okay. It came with breadsticks. And the breadsticks. This here, I, what I got here is a combo. This is what they consider as a combo. Okay, the pizza. Okay, this is hamburger. Hamburger. That's hamburger. Y'all, the box is as bigger than the table, Lord. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. This is bigger than the table. And this here is spinach. Spinach. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And it came with a two little drink so all of this was a combo you get the wings two pieces the bread sticks you can get your wings either with the uh what was it 16 piece or you can get it with the eight uh eight piece yeah then your drinks so here's the ice cubes y'all i haven't pulled my drink in there yet you know i told you they uh ice cubes that i put in the freezer they water you put them in the freezer they turn to ice because i don't like ice cubes so i buy those things there but guys uh comment down below and let me think of uh comment down below tell me what you thought about this video piece of patron you guys have been leaving me some real good comments. Y'all, I got Lynn with me, y'all. Uh, and let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, hit the notification bell to let so I know every time you see. He got me stumbling, y'all. He, he done messed up the whole vibe. He trying to grab the pizza, y'all. Stop, Lynn. Stop. Get over there. Look at the cartoon. Here. I don't know why you threw this uh, piece of bread. Okay, guys. Back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. You guys have been re leaving, really leaving me some good comments. Okay, guys? And hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I drop a new video, Share this video with each and every one you come in contact with and subscribe to my channel. And for the new guys to just join the G Mama's World, scratch the front part of the video out. I got my grandson here. He's only two. So he don't know how to sit through no video, guys. So we may have some little moments, you know. So just laugh it off and keep going. Okay, guys, we're going to pray and we're going to get started. Okay. Amen. Okay, guys. I hope you all are enjoying my seven day of takeout food that I have never had before. Yes, I have had hot wings before. Yes, I have had breadsticks and pizza. But I never had it from this place. Stop it. Stop it. From this place. Okay, guys? So, here, you want some of this pizza? That pizza bigger than you. You got it? You got it? Don't drop it, because if you drop it, Tinker got it. <laughs> so, don't drop it. Get on up there and look at your cartoon with your pizza. Because if you drop that, she waiting on it. All righty. Come on, guys. Let me get y'all. I just cleaned my hands. Get you guys your wing. I got the phone far away because all this here on this table. 
All this on this table. Okay, here you some pizza. Okay, here you some pizza. And for you ones that's vegan that don't like me, they you spinach and uh, Alfredo sauce and cheese. Okay, and let me give you some breadsticks. 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 Okay. Now, let me pour you up some drink. Okay. Uh, okay, I can sit there like that. Now I got some room, guys. Now I got some room. Oh, this thing is. Y'all see, I ain't used to no two liter drink. I need to be doing that burp, no burp challenge. By Jalene. But I can't do this burp challenge and eat too. Well, if I drink this soda, it won't be no eating. And y'all see that? Okay, guys. Let me let me give y'all something to drink. Y'all ready? Okay, drink, 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 drink. <laughs> Woo! All righty. All righty, guys. Pizza. Mmm. Good. You can't go wrong with pizza. Now, this here, that's going to be new. Even though I didn't have pizza, and I never had it from this place, but I never had that except for CC's Pizza. So, mm. and like I said. I appreciate you guys. Let me let me do my thumbnail for the support that I've been getting. The app support, okay. All righty, all righty. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. This is better than CC's. Mm -hmm. Put your leg down. Put your leg down, Liam. Leave it alone. Tinka, go have a seat. That boy is not going to drop nothing. Go have a seat. Damn. Come over here and have a seat with the cartoon. You'll be crying because Tinka, look, she waiting on you to drop that piece. Of. Yeah, this is good. Mm -mm -mm. And no, I'm not going to eat all this, you know, presentation beats the key. Get down, Tinker. Mm -mm -mm. Tinker. Mm -hmm. She got it. You don't need no pizza here. Uh-uh, no, 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 here. You don't need pizza. Get that, because you can't handle that big piece of pizza. Mm -hmm. You not ready to eat. That's why you're playing with it. Mm-hmm. 
screw ass don't eat the crust. I ain't even bring that and put that on. I think it's one, who is that? Pizza Hut. It's one pizza they have where I eat the crust. They have the cheese in the, in the crust, and the top of the crust, they have cheese in it. I eat that. But you know I'm not a bread eater. Mm -mm -mm. And I told y'all with that uh, Arby's <laughs> at the church yesterday, Terrell told it up. I told y'all. Honey, I don't be having no leftovers. I don't have throw nothing in no trash. Mikey be waiting. <laughs> Uh-uh. Sit down before you fall. Mm -hmm. I won't put him over here with me, guys, because, you know, they got to think about the kids and disabling people come in, so. Get back up there. Get back up there. You left that eat your bread in the cartoon. Get up there. And so, that's why I have him over there. And he can't hear his, uh, he's looking at the tablet, but I got to turn down because they singing. So, he can't hear it. So, that's why he keeps jumping up and down. Cause normally he'd be sitting there, but mm -mm -mm. let me try one new one. Oh, I forgot to get my beloved sauce. I can eat these here with the beloved sauce. Sit down, boy, for you fall on your head. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many places you go to to get high wings. Everybody high wings are different. Because they're using different barbecue sauce. Mmm. I mean, you see what that be love uh, hot sauce. Mm -hmm. It came with ranch, but I'm finna get that beloved hot sauce, y'all. Be right back. I'm back. <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. I told y'all. Let me. Let me. I had to get this here. Get this here. Get this here. Get this here. I had to get the beloved sauce. Hot sauce, hot sauce, hot sauce. The beloved hot sauce. Oh. Y'all want some with the beloved hot sauce on it? There you go. There you go. All right, then. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-mm-mm. That is so good. 
Ooh. Uh-uh. Mm. Uh-oh, y'all. <laughs> y'all know how we do, honey. Y'all know. Ain't gonna let niggas go to waste. You said y'all see did y'all see how I did that? <laughs> y'all see how I did that it was leaning up. You know, you ain't gonna let nothing hit that flow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey, nothing hit that flow. Nothing. Woo-hoo. Y'all, the, <coughs> the longer this sit, who the longer it, 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 the longer it sit, the better it get. But it's good. It's good, good. How many flats they give me? Three? Three flats in. Who I wish I would have known. Because these here big things here. I like the flats. I should have told them I would have paid extra for all flats. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh oh. Well, my little fingers is is uh, what you call it, slippery. Y'all see it? You can be eating a uh, pizza when the wings come in the fat. And you, you put everything down. You put everything down when it comes to eating them wings. Everything take a back seat. Come here, soda. I don't never eat this. This here goes with the uh, bread sticks. I'll never eat that. And you know, when you go to these places like this here, everybody ranches. You know, everybody ranch don't taste the same. Now, wing stop, I love they ranch. I love they ranch. Let me see. I love they ranch wing stops. See this here? It's like water. <laughs> water! Look like, you know, they, they, you know how they do it, try to make it scratch? No, it ain't water because it's too thick. Too thick. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me, y'all. And I got a new comer, y'all. Uh, she's going to do my challenge. And once she's done with my challenge, I'm going to give her a shout out. I don't even know the whole name. I know it's TT. So, I will be giving her a shout out. She's going to do some of my challenges. So, I know her name is TT. Okay, I don't even know the name, the, the rest of it, because she's new. But when I get her name, guys, I want you to go to her. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all. This is day four of the seven days take out food I never had before. If y'all want to do that challenge, be my guest. If you want to do any of my challenges in my descriptions, 
be my guest. Just comment down under one of my videos. Let me know that you did the challenge. And I will add you to the playlist. Because I'm creating a playlist for each challenge. And I will give you a shout out. Okay, guys? Some of the challenges are easy. And some of them are not. <laughs> mm. Yep. Some of them are easy. And some of them are not. So, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, I don't want to get full of these hot wings. And they some, this place here, Lord, they some big ones. They almost look like a wing. I don't like them when they that big. I like wing wings. Regular wing. This here almost another inch or two. That would have been a drumstick. <laughs> I don't like them when they that big. Yeah, that would have been a drumstick. And two inches long, it would have been a drumstick. I'm going to eat another one of these. And then I'm going to be done. I'm going to be done. So this is spinach. Mm -hmm. It's good. I love spinach. Only thing it is, um, uh, what's the name of the place? CC's. Theirs is more like a garlic, garlic taste like this here. It's like a. I think they said it was Alfredo cheese and spinach or something. But I know it's supposed to have like a garlic taste in this stone. Unless it's just CC's that has a garlic taste. But that's why I like theirs because they have that garlic taste. But this is good. It really is. Yep, it really is. Yep, yep, yeah. Oh, let me stop there, Lord. You're not supposed to sing at home when you're eating. You know what your mama used to say. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I start back. <laughs> but you know when it's so good, you can't help but the hum. I mean, I stopped humming and started back. So I took a bite. It is so good. I mean, I just started humming. Soon as I shut up, I start back on it. But oh, I took my thumbnail already. I was gonna say, I'm gonna pick this stuff up. But. Oh, guys, and I forgot to tell you, this is the, like I said, piece of Patron and my waiter. I don't know if you want to call the young man a waiter because it's, he was just at the counter. But the guy that served me, his name was Robert. He was very polite, very polite young man. And like I said, when you come across young people that are doing their job, like they was like they supposed to do their job, you give that young man some uh, support them. You know, lift them up. 
I told you, young man, he did a great job. And keep up the good work, you know, because when, when you... When people come into a restaurant, oh, I got spinach all on my hand. When people come into a restaurant and you're working, you're supposed to be very polite to the person. You're supposed to greet them like they the only person that came in that store that day. You're not supposed to treat everybody the same because everybody's not the same. Okay, so when a person come in, you welcome to whatever. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you today? Welcome to a piece of Patron. How may I help you today? Not, uh, yeah, like we bothering you. <laughs> we coming to spend our money. So if we spend enough money there, you will get a raise. Okay? So treat everybody with respect when they come into your place of business. Even if it's not even a restaurant. If you're working and you're open to the public, even if you're a secretary at a front office, if someone come and you have to deal with the public, how you doing? How may I help you today? Girl, let me get off my phone because this person staring me in my face. Oh, well, now. <laughs> That's not the way to be, y'all. And then you're crying because you're at home, collected unemployment, hollering they did you wrong. Okay, guys? So, that's it for that today. Okay, I didn't mean for it to go there. But I just wanted to get this young man, you know, he worked here and he was very polite. When I went to the Chick-fil-A, that little young guy was very polite. J J with JJ's, that young lady. That's why I say when you have these young people working, you let them know that you appreciate them. You see what I'm saying? Because you do come across some that's who we, you be like, pay him. Because I have been to some places and they were so rude because they didn't want to come to work that day. Uh, if they old enough, maybe they spouse, they had it out that day. I don't know, but they don't want to be at work. And I will go to the manager and ask them, uh, is it time for her to take a break? Because she needs a break because she's tired. What you mean? Her attitude is out of this world. She's, it's time for her to take a break. Give her a break, you know. But, you know, some people just like that. That's why... When I come across a person that, that's uh, treating me real well and doing what they're supposed to do, I don't have no problem letting them know, you, you're doing your job. You're doing, you're doing good. Keep up the good work. I let them know. Keep it up. We have to stand behind our young people. We really do because they could be doing something else. They could be standing on the corner, you know, not going to school, hanging out, giving your problems. But when they doing something good, you know, because that, that, that young guy, young person that's working on a job, he may be his only provider at his house. You never know. You never know. We have some young people, the mother and the father have fell off. And that young person, if they're of age 17, because by law, a 17-year-old male is considered as an adult, okay, by law. 17-year-old male is considered an adult. If he get in trouble, he's considered as an adult, okay? So when you see a young person that's working, don't give them a hard time, especially if they're new on the job. If they knew they first day working and you go in there, ah! <clears throat> Can't you go get somebody else? You don't know how to uh, take my milk off if I... Now, you the one that have enough money. But if you see a young person working, give them the benefit of the doubt. Be kind to them. Be sweet. It only takes <clears throat> a second to smile, a second to give a person a kind word. That's it. It will brighten up somebody's day. Because if you go in there acting ugly and uh, 
uh, make them ugly, then they get fired. You taken away from their home because you gonna go home and you gonna eat or whatever you got to do. That may be their livelihood for their family, but you never know what they're going through. You never know, cause I don't know a young person that's working if they didn't have to work. Cause if they was laying in a pot of gold, please believe me, they would not be working. So if they working, they have to work. It's not no by no choice. They have to work. They not working cause they want to get some experience at thirteen and fourteen. Now, if they was in college, I could see them. They in college. They working. They have extra money. Cause the Pell Grant didn't didn't leave them anything, or their mom and dad couldn't. They they negate them the allowance for the month, so they take on a part time job. But when you got a child 13, 14, 15, 16, they not they don't have a choice to work. They they have to work. There's some reason why they have to work. Cause you can't tell me a child that age wants to work. Instead of being at a football game on Friday night or a basketball game on Saturday night, no. That child has to work for a reason. So don't give them a hard time. That's all I'm saying. Okay, guys? And if ain't nobody told you today that they love you, always remember, G Mama loves you, Tanaya loves you, and Jesus loves you. Okay, until we meet again in another video, be kind to one another, be sweet to one another. If you see somebody walking down the street, <clears throat> across the street, or just pass your way, any kind of way, give them a smile and speak to them, because you never know, you might be saving someone's life, okay? So I see y'all guys in another video. Peace.